Hi, it's me, Julie Conrad, intuitive healer and teacher, coming to you with an energy alignment for clearing negative energy, or some people like to think there's good and bad or evil and good energy, and I mean, I understand that, but energy is just energy, and sometimes we like people's energy or the energy in a place, and sometimes not so much, it doesn't vibe with us. So today's energy balance is a clearing of whatever is not yours that you just kind of want to get rid of. I'm going to use Trilogy Alignment and of course Reiki to help you feel like your best self here. We're going to just muscle check and see what comes up for clearing away negative old energy, energy that's not yours that you don't want. And the first thing I'm getting is competition along with um, disgust. So I'm gonna hold right here on your chest, running some Reiki in as we release the trapped feeling of disgust along with a spirit of competition. Mm. <laughs> the hit that I'm getting is we have to balance our energy. We can't control someone else's. And sometimes there's a little bit of projection of our parts of ourselves we don't find super attractive that we can see in someone else, but not ourselves. So let's just dump that, right? We don't need either one of those, uh, competition or disgust, releasing that normal human feelings, but let's lighten it up a little bit. Good. <clears throat> and now we're gonna release um, the emotion of sadness. Yeah. Sometimes we feel sad and that's okay, but we don't need to hold on to it forever. Along with dread. And there's something else, so let me just ask what that is. Take a big breath with me. Take it for granted. Okay, so we're gonna release sadness, dread, and feeling taken for granted as we clean up energy. Really breathe deep. Move a hand to your head here and over your chest. Just let that go. Feeling a sense of lightness kind of wash over you as you let some of these heavier emotions go, cleaning it up. Ooh, much better. And I release a feeling of failure. So releasing trap feeling of failure, it could be fear of failure, or it could just be that you feel like you failed, like protecting your own energy from someone else's or that you failed to like not let them not bother you. You know, sometimes we think, oh, I'm just not gonna get triggered. I'm not gonna let it bother me. But then we take on some of someone else's stuff. As an empath, that is uh, a life lesson I was just talking to my mentor about yesterday, that as a child, I wish someone would have taught me that all the empathic things I felt, whether it was emotions or physical pain, weren't really mine and how to clean it up. So this is a great cleanup for you. Mm. If you're looking to do it on your own, I would highly suggest that you ground, like grow a grounding cord, imagine your roots at your feet, increase that Wei Chi bubble, and then just ask your body, anything that's not mine, can you just release it and recycle it? Like we want to upcycle energy. So just feel it like draining out of you. So we can practice that as I muscle check here. We're going to align for a spirit of detox. So let's detox, but I'm also going to walk you through that exercise so that you have a daily exercise that you could do even as you drive to work or on, maybe on your way home from work. So imagine those grounding cords at your feet. I really like one at my tailbone. Breathe in, we're gonna detox here. All the things that aren't yours or that are yours and you're just tired of carrying them around, now's the perfect time to let it go. And imagine if you did the tailbone, let that be like a big wide conduit pipe, the width of your hips. Mm -hmm. And now I want you to just tell your body to let go of anything that's not yours or heavy things that you're carrying around or worry. We're gonna detox it out to clean up your energy. So just imagine that. Just maybe you wanna imagine gray, just kind of draining out that back into the earth. Big breath. Yeah. And then when you feel like you're emptied out, we need to refill. So I'm gonna refill you here with Reiki at your chest. 
So we're gonna increase your vitality here. That's what I'm gonna align you to. We detox, now we're increasing vitality, but you can also increase your vitality by bringing up energy, up that grounding core from your tailbone or your feet. Imagine, can you just breathe it up your legs, up your torso, up your neck, into your head, and then just fountain it out around you. Imagine our Wei Chi field is this golden bubble. So could you imagine it up and out, cleansing your field, but also filling it. So kind of like pressure washing. So inhale, up some new energy. Exhale, out, filling up your whole field with goodness with a higher vibe. Just take a couple more breaths like that. Feel it rising up legs, abdomen, chest, neck, head. Exhale out and around, filling up here with all this positive energy, with a deep sense of being nurtured. And we're gonna align with the belief of I am safe. And this goes into one of our chakras, seven, six, five, four, three, right there at the third chakra. You can't see on the camera, but here at the diaphragm. So I'm gonna install this by just circling it in clockwise. You can continue with your breath. I'm gonna also hold your chest, filling you up with this thought and new operating system of I am safe. So as you inhale, breathe in, I am safe. And as you exhale, let that be your mantra on inhale and exhale, I am safe. I am safe. Yeah, we're just getting a big, nice upgrade. Helping you to keep your energy positive and lighter and brighter that other people's stuff is their stuff. And we have our own stuff to deal with, but we can always upcycle it with this grounding and refilling exercise. Breathe in, bring up energy again, and out with that thought of, I am safe. I'm just gonna hold one more big breath like that, saying your mantra, I am safe. We don't have to keep anyone else's junk that they have maybe projected onto us or we willingly carried because we love them or we took on their worry or their fear or, something that's going on it's not really ours though but we can feel free to drop it out and recycle it with lots of love filling up with light to feel our best and let other people just keep their stuff they it's their journey they can deal with it mm, i am feeling much better i hope you are also feeling lighter brighter more sparkly like your best self think about that maybe a spirit of lightness and of sparkly goodness filling you up. I hope this really helps you clear your energy, feel like your best self, share it with somebody that you know kind of needs a little clean up to their energy. Um, I know it's a great skill I taught my daughters. It helps them really dump the stuff they don't need. So share it even with your children because it's a life skill. I think most of us needed to learn when we were little and more empathic. Hope it helps you. Thanks for watching.